Okay, let's talk about some UI performance. In this short video, I will show you how bad it is for your game if you put every UI element in one canvas and why. Every UI element should be under canvas and if any of the UI element changes its position, rotation, scale or alpha value then the whole canvas will become dirty and will be rebuilt in the next frame. This will cause a major performance problem. So to tackle this issue, we separate the UI elements accordingly, whether they are animating or not. We put static UI elements in one canvas and animator UI elements in other canvas. Each canvas acts as an independent island. You can nest canvases and can still maintain the island characteristics. Keep in mind that having so many canvases can also cause performance problems. In this example, I have a lot of UI elements cluttered in my UI which will cause performance issues for sure. I have also animated these stars. Let's take a look at the performance of this UI by going to Window, Analysis and click on Profiler. When I hit play, you can see the stars are being animated. And in the profiler graph, there is so many peaks that are happening from 60 FPS to 30 FPS. This is not good. So let's make another canvas and put our animator stars only in that canvas. Now hit play. As you can see, there is a sudden decrease in peak and that baseline also dropped from 60 FPS mark to 70 or 80 FPS mark. Cool right? Ok, in this example I have done some coding and now I have achieved 100 FPS for this same project. I have done it through UI tweening. Detailed video is coming soon. So subscribe to not miss out on that video. Thanks to JustFinCore for supporting me on Patreon. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.